Tensions are also ramping up between the United States and Turkey. Turkish President Erdogan says a military operation against Kurdish forces in Syria will continue despite a possible confrontation with the United States. To discuss this, I'm joined tonight by former U.S. diplomat Jim Jatras. Jim, nice to have you with us. Good to see you. The back and forth between the United States and Turkey has not been this heated for a long time, if ever. Your thoughts. What's happening here? Uh, well, a few things. Uh, let's remember what triggered this Turkish incursion, uh, so-called Operation Olive Branch, if you can believe that, uh, that it was the announcement the United States is creating in the Tur Kurdish held zone in Syria, a border security force uh, with the Kurdish YPG militia, whom the Turks regard as simply PKK terrorists, a group that's listed as terrorists both by Turkey, United States, as well as is by NATO. I think that was sort of the last straw for Erdogan. He felt he had to do something, and it puts the, the U.S. And an impossible position between our de jure NATO ally Turkey and our de facto boots on the ground ally in Syria, the Kurds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's pretty clear that when push comes to shove, the United States will abandon the Kurds. Doesn't sound like there's any Russian help here at all. I don't think so. I think they're just going to watch, watch, sit back and eat popcorn at this point because it's really another, another Ray hitting you in the face of uh, American policy where we have messed up. We Look, Trump said he wanted to destroy ISIS. ISIS is on the ropes. He could declare victory and get out of Syria. Instead, we're digging down in, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Mr. Tillerson announced a new policy, which brings us back to Assad Moscow. And Tillerson seems to be speaking with such conviction, number one, on who's responsible for the chemical attacks, yeah. but also the involvement to support the Kurds, which is going to cause, obviously, tensions with Turkey, which Erdogan has drawn a line in the sand. I mean, there's an ultimatum coming from the Turkish president. What does that mean? Are they going to start shooting at American troops in, in Syria? Right. The, the offensive was against the pocket called Afrin in the nor northwest of the country. There were not any Americans there that I'm aware of. The Americans are, we have, what, a dozen illegal bases, illegal under both American and international law in the main Kurdish-held area they call Rojava. If the Turks move there, and there's been some indication they would attack the town of Manbij, that could involve action against areas where there are Americans and Americans can be hurt. Are we going to shoot our own NATO ally, Turkey? I don't know. Well, uh, <laughs> we don't know what this president Or, or we do. have Americans killed by our ally. We, that, that's a distinct danger. And, and so the position that the United States is in right now, it's decision time. Right. You're either in or you're out on the Kurds to keep the Turks happy. Which is it? That's the real question, because if, if we don't back the Kurds up and if we basically throw them to the wolves and try to appease the Turks, we are being dealt in out of the game in Syria. Mm -hmm. And with, uh, we, we basically are g getting out because we don't have any client on the ground there to speak of. And I, I, I don't know that, I don't know about Trump, but I don't know if the administration, the people around him are willing to accept that. Let's back up a little bit to the Syrian chemical attacks that are taking place in Syria, should I say. Uh, the conviction that Tillerson is speaking with, how good do you think and how credible is our intelligence that uh, it, it is Russia? My honest opinion, I think they know damn well it wasn't the Syrian government. I think they know damn well it wasn't the Syrian government. When, they, when, when, when the Russian ambassador says they didn't even go to Khan Shaikhoun in Idlib to take any samples in their own independent investigation, they're working from a chain of custody of samples that comes right from the terrorist sources. How credible is that? All we want on the American side, look, Nikki Haley might as well be Samantha Power back there again, is to condemn the Russians, condemn the Syrians, and we need Assad to go. Jim Jatras, great to have you with us, Jim. Thank you. Thank you.